And you know what the best part about it is? Well, not the best part, but unlike the World Tour events, you lose, you're going home. That's right. So th it's harsh. It really is. You get a uh, third or fourth, you're going bye-bye. We love to see these savage cuts. I mean, of course, the downside of that is you're going to lose some of your favorite surfers. We just lost one of our favorites, Mason Ho, in that last year. I know a lot of people out there watching. It, it seems like the more Mason time you can get, the better. But, hey, you're going to see big names going down in these early rounds. That's just the reality of QS 10,000 surfing. In this heat, Hiroto Arai, Jacob Wilcox, Leandro Usuna. We see ripping that wave all the way to the beach. And Shane Holmes. So a great mix right here of kind of your journeyman. You know, with Shane Holmes, Leandro Asuna. See all these young surfers coming in against the, you know, the tour vets, so to speak, the guys who are just trying, you know, have been, have been trying to make it through and bust through and have that opening that they need to get back down the line onto that big main stage of the world tour. Leandro Asuna trying to get some action work there, right there up into the lip. On the backhand, Hirota Arai from Japan, technically, Surfing really well out there. A couple of nice hits on the backhand, keeping the flow. That's key out here, I think, Chris, is actually keeping your flow to get to the inside and, and actually get that finishing move. Kind of all over the world, he's, he's done it. And right behind him, Hiroto Arai. And there's the uh, kind of convergence of these two waves. He's gonna have a nut, uh, much easier line towards this inside section. No need for the infamous Huntington Hop, although could have used a little bit more speed going into the last maneuver. This is uh, Wilcox using his priority. Quick snapping pair of turns. There you see, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's almost like he's on a stationary wave. Once you get to that mid portion on the... We are working hard to like prepare my body and my, my mind to compete in that contest. And I feel so confident, and I'd like to say thank you, God, first, to give me the opportunity to come here and see Way, my sponsor. And yeah, let's do this. Well, Luel, thank you so much. Your passion uh, is not to be underrated. We are excited to see you into the next round, and best of luck in the rest of the competition. And you guys, take it away. Thank you, Folky. Yeah, Luel Philippe. Strider, we were talking about that earlier. I mean, this is where. Uh, anything is possible for, for a guy like Luel, who's been battling it out on the QS for, and I think it's going to happen again this year. Well, hopefully, you know, we, we see a new winner. It's always fun to see a new guy up on the podium. And right there, Leonardo Asuna, just really a couple nice hits on the backhand. So kind of those that two-turn combo looking really clean, actually making it through the pier for the connection on the other side. The, the sand pulls deep along the pier. They're creating a channel, and then a right-hander comes back into it, which is really nice for those guys if they can make it to the other side. Bang, up into the, the lip, Sean Holmes. Kind of slow, a little sticky, really not having the, the flow or you know the rhythm that you want out here at the Huntington Pier. And then a right with a nice hit up into the ball right there, but nothing left, so not going to be a big score. Fighting their way through. It's always a fun story to follow as we see Jacob Wilcox trying to assert his dominance right now and he just did three turns in the span of about eight feet. <laughs> it's just I think I beat that guy in a heat before and then you go out and you start banging away. You know, to me right there, there could have been two really good combination turns on that wave that he could have done bigger turns on and instead he tried to squeeze in more. And I Nice TP set coming in. This is going to be Usuna currently in second place. Wilcox did get better his score. The 5-6-7 and a 5-3-7. Bam, Leandro Usuna. Love to see these big turns right by the pier pilings. Here's his a replay right here. Leandro, a quick hit off the top. He's waiting for it. So he's actually doing, I think, the pace that he needs. He just needs to be a little bit more progressive in his turns. No loser bracket. Bottom third and fourth surfers head home. And uh, they do, they, they are going to get, you know, a handful of QS points. But I'll tell you, with only five QS 10,000s on the calendar, this event right here really kind of becomes a, a, a telling show of 
who we're going to be looking at towards qualification at the end of the year. You know, a big win here to QS 10,000. There you go. It's the business, business and pleasure side of things. Here goes Haruto Orai. Now that's a wave more indicative of how this, how good this guy surfs. I've seen him his last couple waves, a couple uh, unforced errors. This wave, he's looking sharp, as you see, just weaving through that chunky section all the way to this infamous Huntington Beach beach break. Right on the sand. Already you hear the crowd. You know, this is Monday morning. Not even 8.30 yet. The beach is already getting packed in Huntington Beach. Well, they want to see some progression. This fundamental surfing right here is going to be great as he does two nice hits, gets a little connection snap right here to make the inside corner and then push with enough speed to really flow through to the inside. The inside finish wasn't a huge wow move, but it definitely gave him what he needed to get it done, and he's going to have his best score on the board for sure. We have a little flare-up of activity. Shane Holmes had a little confusion on his wave. And uh, we see right behind him Jacob Wilcox now trying to fight to this inside section. He will shoot the pier. Whoa, snap under the pier. Added danger. There's going down out here. I saw some really high performance surfing now in these heats as we're seeing. We've seen a lot of fundamentals, turns. I'm not saying this is safe surfing, but do you expect to see more of the aerial antics as we roll on it? Is this kind of oh the fins, do an air, wow us at the end of this heat. And here goes Shane Holmes. He's making a charge, big vertical snap. Maybe went too hard. Oh. Sorry. Well, I know. goaded him into that. <laughs> We're down to under a minute, finding a little gem of a left. Thing is running. Hiroto Arai, he's looking for a 5-3-8. His third turn. Spice thrown from the uh, young Japanese surfer. And he has a potential connection. This thing just a raging torrent of rapids. He looks at the watch. Kind of combo out the back, and he made the inside. So it's going to be tough for him to get the score on that wave. Well, he, didn't, he definitely didn't make it obvious, like you like to see at the end of these heats. Leandro Osuna, 683 to 497. Most likely safe as the uh, horn blows. And that's going to leave uh, this heat up into the judges' hands. You like to make it obvious, right? I mean, you like to end with a flare and look up to the beach and just say, give it to me. <laughs> we didn't see that from Hiroto. He kind of potentially left a runner on the base right there with a five, six, seven. Well, let's take a look, a nice first turn, second turn, little tap, and this third turn was really Ooh. actually a little tail slide, so there was a little bit of progression there. There was, you know, he didn't have the inside completion to, you know, make the connection, but I don't think that's really a big part of the scoring right now, I think. Did he do enough? Yes, he did. Just by the skin of his teeth, Rota Rai advances in second place with Leandro Osuna taking the win.